morning and welcome back to the shot pub day three this is going to be the last day well it's not actually the last day i've got to be here again because i'm not going to get finished today but it's the last time that i'm bringing you lot along uh, so the plan today was to get the uh, mix done and do the pointing up on the patio slabs but we've had a lot of rain this morning and they're rather damp so i'm gonna have to leave that as well as doing the wood preserve spray of all this playground because we're forecast a bit more rain and i don't really want to be doing it in the wet so what i'm going to do i've already tested out the uh, four to eleven year old facilities they take my weight they seem to be all right swings are very creaky so i've got to sort them out slides very slow then my ass was just wedged in it so and the um, fireman's pole is very slow so I might actually just grease that up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some tools out, I'm gonna socket set, drills, uh, hammers, nails, because I've noticed a few bits of netting and stuff that have pulled away, because they're just a little U-shaped nail, so in the end they just kind of pull out. So that's what I'm gonna do first thing this morning, and then I'm gonna try and investigate whether there is any San Miguel down the cellar. But I'll do that later, so let's go and crack on. Go on, go on. What? I'm just having a look down the cellar. The cooler's on, that must be a good sign. Safety check complete. It's as safe as houses, as long as houses stay safe. Uh, yeah, pretty much nothing. There was a couple of loose bolts, obviously fixed this thing here, and a few other bits and bobs, but all in all, pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, this, during lockdown one, uh, we added, I think either one or two bags of bark. So it doesn't really need any more bark put on it, because if you look, there's, so obviously under the swings is the main area which needs doing because and at the bottom of the slide but the rest of the areas there's just so much high bits of bark everywhere so i'm going to get a rake or a couple of rakes because i've got to get a soft rake to rake all the stuff back on to the area that's gone off the edges from the swings and off the edges from the slide and then get a stiff hard rake and then get under here because under here i don't know if you can see not really there is a lot of spare bark under there so i'm going to get it all raked around and then um, i'm going to get the grass and that cut i want to get the bushes cut but i completely forgot that i broke my long arm last week at a job i got to the job started cutting the edges and then all of a sudden it just stopped it the motor was going it was working fine but the blade stopped working so i think up the end where you adjust the head the gears in there something's gone wrong because i haven't greased it or anything which i should have been doing so luckily I borrowed my brother's because he's got exactly the same one as me, so I finished that job. But I can't do the hedges here, which I need to because they're kind of getting out of hand. But I'll have to fix it at the weekend. Still no sign of life in there. Get a rake, go on. Love strong, just like a love song, baby. It's haunting me to know what you're thinking. It's like I'm sinking deep underwater. Maybe it's harder, harder, harder for me. Oh, harder for me. Maybe we're over it, or maybe just lovers. Cause under the covers, baby, you're showing me grass all done and tidy. That'll be its final cut now till spring. It's made it so much easier for me though, because I used to have to do a lot of streaming, moving the benches around, but now I don't really have to do much streaming, just a little bit around the edge of the playground. Happy days. So I'm going to cut the back garden, because that needs doing. 
Uh, and then a few more bits tidying up, then I'm perhaps pretty much done today. So, because uh, I can't, you know, I can't do this because it's not, it's not dry enough at all. The um, green parrots, not at all today. Not seen one, not heard, but well, ring neck parakeets to give them their proper name. But no, just not seen or heard them at all today. Uh, did you, I actually like, there's, I found out like, that they're actually, um, the RSPCA are monitoring the numbers of them. Not the RSPCA, the RSPB are monitoring the numbers of the uh, ring net parakeets uh, with the intention of possibly culling them because they're posing a danger to natural British birds. Because these are not natural, they obviously, they were first found in the 70s I believe uh, and then through being released into the wild, they're not like just travelled over here from Africa because that's where they're from. So um, every day is school day, I bet you didn't know that did you? Nor did I until I googled it this morning before I came to work. So yeah, finished tidying up. There is a bit of activity in the pub, so I'm getting a little bit optimistic that I might be able to get a nice cold San Miguel, if there's any left in them pipes. had a flyby by two parakeets. I can still hear them, little shits. That is me done, that's my three days done down the lockdown pub. Haven't got everything done that I wanted to get done because obviously the, the, the wood is too wet to do the spraying of the wood preserve and obviously I've still got to do the pointing up on the slabs, I've still got to cut the bushes. I uh, still got to do leveling up with topsoil and seed. So I'll probably drop onto that next week, but I probably won't bring you lot with me because um, it's just a pain in the ass. So um, yeah, well, thanks for watching this. If, if you like this rubbish, then please subscribe, like the video, turn on the notifications. That way then you'll know when I upload more crap like this. And um, you can watch some, see, listen. Oh, so annoying, bloody green parakeet ring thingies. So yeah, I'm gonna go home. Friday, lovely. Shut pub. Oh, it would have been so nice to like literally just have a pint. A pint would have been great, but it's not to be, so. Thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you.